time to crack open the sports page with the Orlando Sentinel and FM 96.9 The Games, Mike the Bulldog Bianchi. On JRR. Bulldogs sports page brought to you by Kaufman and Lind Injury Attorneys. Uh, Bulldog is uh, absent today, Taco Bob. Yeah, he's going to visit his daughters up north. Pretty cool. Flying right into the path of the storm. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That big ass storm in the northeast. Oh, uh, says he's going to be back on Monday. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I guess right. All right. Let's begin with uh, NBA news. Uh, the Magic will be uh, back in action tonight at Denver against the Nuggets. Tip off at nine o'clock. Magic have lost three in a row. I know the dog said he was becoming concerned and a tad worried. That uh, we may have a uh, post-holiday swoon going on. I was reaching for my magic shirt today, but I said, you know what? I'm not going to hex them in a way, shape, or form. I think they're going to win. How about we work in some good mojo here uh, with other magic news? The team announcing they're going to retire Shaquille O'Neal's number 32 jersey in a post-game ceremony uh, at the Kia Center coming up on February 13th. I think that's cool. Whether Shaq left here or not, he still loves Orlando. Absolutely. You know, there's no doubt about that, and he proves it uh, all the time. And, uh, and, and Shaquille, have you ever run into anybody who goes, oh, I can't stand Shaq? No, no. <laughs> LeBron, on the other hand, right. yeah, pretty well, much everybody. Well, and he, yeah. So that's cool. Uh, if you're going to be at the game on February 13th, stick around afterwards, and uh, you can see Shaq's number 32 jersey retired. Is he going to be there? I would hope so. I'd hope so, too, but you never know. I would hope so. Uh, Lightning beat Minnesota last night on the road 4-1. to one. They'll skate again uh, tomorrow night uh, at the first place, Boston Bruins. So there you go on your hockey news. What else we got happening here? Oh, you know this... Uh, Wander Franco case, the Dominican Republic officials looking to uh, into that uh, sex trafficking deal with the Tampa Bay race pitcher, Wander, Wander Franco. Yeah, it's been going on for a while. Okay, Th- this thing is uh, really starting to uh, get extremely um, creepy. Oh, no. Uh, the the sex- commercial sexual exploitation and money laundering. The charges stem from allegations of Franco having a relationship with a minor. Okay, that part's been speculated about, who was reportedly 14 at the time. Here's the additional info that's now come to light. It appears the money laundering charges come from allegations that Franco made payments to the minor's mother. Oh, really? Yeah, one of those weird Uh. deals, man. Oh, God. Anyway... Uh, let's get on to uh, some NFL news. Dalvin Cook, who was released from the New York Jets, uh, look where he lands just in time for the playoffs and a bye week for the Baltimore Ravens. Oh, geez. So a strong Ravens team uh, bolsters their run game with Dalvin Cook, who, uh, granted, he really he has, hadn't off. done much anything this year, but you never know. And uh, this- I had Dalvin. Just put it this way, fantasy. I know you don't give a rat's ass about fantasy. I had Dalvin picked at the, at the beginning of, of fantasy football and dropped him within like the first three weeks. I yeah. said, yeah, "This is just a uh, Tyreek Hill." That fire that was in his home at uh, Southwest Ranches in Broward County ruled accidental. Kid playing with a lighter. Oh, really? Kid playing with a lighter. Good night. Yeah. So, um. NFL playoff implications, obviously, as the final weekend of games kicks into gear. Let th- these scenarios are there's so many taco. I was thinking just let's run through the Florida teams. Yeah, don't and, go into all the other I, ones. It's it's a bowl of confusion. All right, let's let's start with the Dolphins since we were just talking Tyreek Hill. Uh, Sunday night it'll be the final game of the entire NFL regular season uh, for Sunday night football from Hard Rock and Miami Gardens. Dolphins hosting the Bills, winner take all in the AFC East. Mm-hmm. So uh, you know, the, the Dolphins are still in the playoffs, but they can you know better their position obviously by being uh, champions of the AFC East. So Dolphins fans are keeping their fingers crossed that the hearts aren't ripped out once again by the the Bills. Yeah, and that there's no more injuries going oh, into the playoffs. God, yeah. Um, Let's see what else we got happening here. How about the Jacksonville Jaguars, who are 9-7? and seven? Here's the deal with the Jags. 
Uh, for them to win the division, pretty simple for the Jags. Beat the Titans, and they will uh, be back-to-back division titles uh, for just the second time in franchise history. Uh, that happened back in 98 and 99 when the team played in the AFC Central. A tie with the Titans and a tie between the Colts and the Texans would also seal it. Okay. <laughs> can, they, can they still make the playoffs as a wild card team? Yes, if the Jags lose to the Titans, they'll need help. Denver would have to lose to Vegas. Pittsburgh would have to lose at Baltimore. And the Houston-Indianapolis game would have to not end in a tie. And that right there is a prime example why we're just doing the Florida team scenarios because that was a lot. Think if we did all of them. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they are 8-8. Eight and eight. They will face the Carolina Panthers at 1 o'clock on Sunday. If the Bucks beat the Panthers, who are 2-14, and 14, they win the division. That sentence scares me, especially the 2-14 <laughs> and 14 part. Yeah. Trends get broken at some point, Taco Bob. All right, if they were to tie, if the, the Bucks were to tie with the Panthers, they, they would need a Saints loss or a tie in their game with the Falcons. If the Bucks were to lose, they can't win the division. What about his wild card team? Yes, but the odds are very low. The only path to a wild card spot for the Bucks would be if they tie, the Saints win, the Seahawks lose, and the Green Bay Packers lose or tie. And we all see so many ties in football. So, anyway, that's uh, what we're looking at for our in-state teams. If you, you root for another team, I, I would encourage you to go ahead and look at the uh, scenarios there. We just don't ha- we have time constraints here, Taco Bob. Yeah, and hope that your team's not playing in the Northeast this weekend. Th- that is going to be interesting. There are a few games that might be affected by that weather uh, this coming weekend. So with that, we'll see if the Bulldog uh, does indeed make it back on Monday, Taco Bob. WJRR.